Repetition. Repetition. Yeah. Is it called repetition? Is that a, it's an exercise? So they're what? Are you new to this tun? To the tun? A bit new to the tun, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Oh no. How does that look? Hello. How are things? And welcome to Behind the Curtain, the show that brings the drama to you. He's Donica. And that's Sam. And together we're coming to your screens to bring you an insight into film, theatre, TV, and what goes on in drama schools. Every episode we're going to explore, explain, and experiment with the latest techniques in the acting world. As well as interviewing directors, playwrights, and actors at the pinnacle of their careers as we find out what they have to say about this whole acting game. We're also going to throw in a healthy dose of random crack that puts a spin on the standard studenty stuff. This week, we bring you an exclusive interview with Ailey Gonzalez, director and practitioner at the height of her game. She tells us how she got into acting and what gets her out of bed in the morning. We also, for the first time since Meisner himself, probably, bring his unique method of acting to the streets of London. As well as other interviews, news and hidden camera malarkey. So sit back, relax and be entertained by what goes on behind the curtain. And she said, we're talking flake or no flake. Well, then I said, oh, <laughs> sorry, didn't see you there. Good evening. This is the news in briefs. In theatre news in briefs this week, Bugsy Malone reopens at the Lyric Theatre in Hammersmith. The Crucible starring Richard Armitage comes to your cinema screens and Avenue Q returns for another national tour in 2015. Thank you, Sam. Now to film news. Javier Bardem is in talks to play the villain in Pirates of the Caribbean 5. Guardians of the Galaxy retains its place as 2014's top grossing film at 326,400,000... At over 300 million dollars. After 20 years since the first installment, Dumb and Dumber returns with Dumb and Dumber 2 in mid-November. I'm looking forward to that one. What's that one? This has been the News and Briefs. Until next time, thank you for tuning in. So one of the exercises that we do in drama school is a Meisner technique known as repetition. Basically, we look into each other's eyes, very romantic, no, we look at each other, take in the other person and say what they're doing. The point of this is to exercise what it's like to respond in the moment and naturally. Basically, seeing clearly and responding truthfully. So we're taking this to the streets of London to see what the public's reaction is to doing Meisner in public. Let's do it. <laughs> you just laughed. I laughed. You laughed. I laughed. You laughed. I laughed. You laughed. I laughed. You laughed. You smiled. <laughs> I smiled. You smiled. I smiled. You smiled. I smiled. You smiled. You put your hands in your pocket. I smiled. You put my hands in my pocket. You put your hands in your pocket. I put my hands in my pocket. You put your hands in your pocket. I'm laughing. You're laughing. 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 You're laughing. I'm laughing. You're laughing. I'm laughing. You're laughing. You're mimicking me. I'm mimicking. You're mimicking me. You moved your head. I moved my head. I looked over there. I looked over there. You looked over there. I looked over there. You looked over there. I looked over there. You looked over there. You raised your head. I raised my head. You raised your head. I raised my you head. Raised your head. I raised my head. You step back. I step back to your head. I moved my head. You blinked. <laughs> I blinked. You blinked. I blinked. You blinked. I blinked. You blinked. I blinked. You blinked. I blinked. You came forward. I came forward. You came I forward. came forward. Put your hands in your pockets. I put my hands in my pockets. Put your hands in your pockets. I put my hands in my pockets. Put your hands in your pockets. Put my hands in my pockets. Put your hands in your pockets. You look down. I looked down. You looked down. You looked over there. You looked over there. I looked over you there. You looked over there. I looked over there. You're smiling. You're smiling. I'm smiling. You're smiling. I'm smiling. You're smiling. I raised my eyebrow. You raised your eyebrow. I raised my eyebrow. You raised your eyebrow. <laughs> you laughed. I laughed. You laughed. I laughed. You laughed. I you looked eyebrow. You looked over there. I looked over there. You looked over there. I looked over there. You looked over there. I looked 
over there. You moved your head. I moved my head. You moved your head. I moved my head. You moved your head. I moved my head. You're looking at me. I'm looking at you. 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 I'm looking at you. I'm looking at you. I'm looking at you. I'm smiling. Hello, and welcome to a beer in a broom cupboard. <laughs> We're here with Aileen Gonzalez, who is the artistic director and basically the head of Butterfly Theatre Company. Okay. Um, well, let's get straight to it, Aileen. Uh, yeah, when did you first make your decision to act? Oh, I mean, it was when I was so young, it was hardly a decision. You know, yeah. I'm famous in my family for turning up at parties and saying, is it my turn to sing yet? And that was when I was three. Um, I just loved it. I've always loved it. And it's quite tricky because, you know, when you meet people who've gone to, into acting, you know, later or made the decision later, I always really admire them because I have never thought twice about anything else, really. And I've uh, subsequently got into writing and directing and singing and different things. But, yeah, no, I just loved it. I got to direct at the RSC. I was assistant director to Tim <coughs> Supple on mm. Midnight's Children and then Greg Duran on All's Well That Ends Well. And that had Judy Dench in it, which was fabulous. So that was amazing. Some of your favourite actors, Sam. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. For years, I mean, you mentioned your fans. I do love her in James yeah. Bond. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's yeah. really James Bond. She's a bit of a cougar, like. So. <laughs> okay, Aileen. So your house is on fire. What three things do you save? And you've got to leave your cats in there, I'm sorry. Okay, ridiculously, my David Mamet book, True and False. <laughs> There are more I've got a there. I <laughs> if you want one. I think it was, uh, it was on the reading list, like, so... Uh, Amazon 6 exactly, yeah. <laughs> um, That book literally changed my life. And it was given to me by someone so weird, a kind of computer programmer at a company I was temping, because when you do acting, sometimes, really not often, I'm sure, yeah. um, <laughs> you do temping, and I was temping as a secretary, and he came in and he kind of shuffled in, and he, you know, he didn't have very good, you know... <laughs> social interaction skills and he just sort of just pushed this thing in front of me and so I went to this talk last night at the barbecue and I thought you might like this book. It changed my life. I always say you never know who's going to change your life. Be careful because people really, you can't judge anyone. It was amazing. And so I sat there and read the book and I read it in about two hours. It's a brilliant book if you haven't read two it. Two hours? Yeah, really just bang through it. It took me I think, two weeks to read <laughs> that one. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> but I was suddenly like, this is just amazing. and. It has actually led me to my whole career and it's led to the directing and then the teaching because I just felt it really said what I think acting should be about and really simply and really clearly and um I've heard this baby journey, but your house is burnt down by now. You haven't <laughs> taken two you've got two more things to take out. What the cats will I are take? Just... This is terrible. <clears throat> you, I'll tell you what the truth about that is, is I'm not really into things. What would I take from the flat? God, I can't think. You can't take the view. I know, that's the thing that would kill me. The yeah. plasma. <laughs> don't have a TV. <gasps> Look at that. <laughs> Cut this. Cut <laughs> all that. We need to get a new person to interview. <laughs> um, so, Aileen, what is your most embarrassing moment on stage to date? Oh. Um, I want to hear this. <laughs> there's literally 700. But there's one most embarrassing moment where, thankfully, I was off stage, but I caused huge embarrassment. <laughs> An on stage, I should not. <laughs> um, it's Macbeth, which I'm sure I shouldn't yeah. say. Lady Macbeth is meant to ring a bell off stage twice, mm -hmm. and he says, Ah, uh, oh, I go, the bell invites me. And so the bell has to ring. I have not set the bell. <laughs> I have not remembered to set your prop. So I literally go, <laughs> You've guessed it, I go, Ding! <laughs> and I literally try to do the echo of the bell. What in the cave. wrong with me? <laughs> That's what anyone would but do in a situation. But then I do like it that. again because it has to ring twice. Yeah. Ding! I turn to the actor next to me and I go, do you think that sounds like a bell? I wanted them to say yes. That was <laughs> there. Nobody yeah, would still ringing in my ears, are <laughs> And then you didn't have a bell. Oh my god, that was very fun. Right, we're going to ask a few questions about university students in London and. We want a word association with the subject we're going to say, okay? Any word. Any word that comes to your mind, or Just phrase. Just instantaneously what it comes in. Okay. Maths. Yeah, maths. What do, what do you think the students are like in maths? Who do maths? I, I would say um, a bit geeky. <laughs> yeah. English. Strong. English. Polish. 
English. Okay, yes, I can speak English, yeah. yes. Biologists? Few. <laughs> Geography? Brilliant. Biology? Not a fan. Drama students? Hate them. <laughs> Drama students? Wankers. Uh, drama students? More than biology. <laughs> drama students. Oh yeah, what about pansies? Pansies. <laughs> no, no. Um, I think um, drama students. Uh, waste they time. probably waste of time. No. Um, Unemployed. Yeah. Probably a bit two-faced. Two yeah. Oh, that's a that's a good insight. Yeah. Yeah. They are. Um, Horologists. Skin. <laughs> it's to fix clocks, actually, but time, time. There Very we go. good. Thank you. We've got all we need. Well, that's all we've got time for on this week's show. Be sure to tune in next week, where we've got another exclusive interview with an actress and more revelry in public. General drama school students messing. If you like what you see, hit the subscribe button, like, and uh, leave your number for this guy. Don't listen to him. Thank you. <laughs>